All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about generating your own QR codes on your own computer. Now, this is not often something people talk about. Now, QR codes, you know what they are. They're these things, you see them all over the place. And um, a lot of people don't know how to use these. They're very useful for different stuff. In case you don't know, really a QR code is just a way of encoding some string of text visually. And you can get a QR code reader or barcode reader and scan the thing and it will show you what kind of text it has encoded. Let me show you an example and then I'll show you how to make these things. Now I have a little app on my cell phone here. I'm gonna pull it up, it's just a barcode scanner app. There are a million different ones of them that you can get in your app store or whatever. And if I hold it so that it analyzes this QR code, it gives me the string that it's encoded. Now here it's just my website https lukesmith.xyz and usually they'll have you know like open in browser share via email share via text or something like that and that's usually how qr codes work really all this is is an encoded text and someone can come with a qr code reader and just read it and these are very convenient if you're trying to let's say you you're advertising something or you have some kind of hidden joke and you want to encode it in a way that someone can read it without having to write it down. It's a very nice thing to use. Um, despite that, now the reason I wanted to do this video is if you look up how to make a QR code, there are just a bunch of people who, a bunch of websites that will generate them for you. You can just generate them yourself on your own computer. You don't need any of that stuff. Um, now the, the thing you need, uh, I'm assuming since you're watching my channel, you probably use Linux, but uh, I believe this works on other operating systems as well. There's a little program called QR Encode. Um, now, I, I know in Arch Linux, at least, of course, the package is just QR Encode. In other Linux distributions, it might be like lib QR Encode or something like that. You might want to check it yourself. But it's a very simple app that <clears throat> you can use to generate these QR codes. Now, how to use it, it's basically as simple as could be. Let's say we wanna you know, embed some kind of text. So I already did my own website. Let's say um, I'll do the LARBS website. Now you can, of course, the text you can encode can be anything. It can be a URL, it can be just a sentence, it could be literally anything. Um, but to output this, we'll just say, uh, you know, put it in a PNG file. Oh, oops, you have to give it the O option. Um, and that will output it, you'll see, in this little file here. Now notice by default they start out very small, but usually even if they're small, uh, let me test it out to make sure it works. I'm gonna scan this QR code. It's hard getting, uh, right, so that works, right? Works perfectly. Now if you want these to be a little bigger, because I think by default like each you know unit is like three pixels or something really small, you can increase it with the S option. So if I uh, take this, let's, um, let's uh, go down in the middle, I guess. Uh, if I take this and give it the S option for size, let's say instead of three, I want 20 pixels. Um, I can output that and you'll see that this is much larger. So depending on how you're printing it out, you might want, might want it to be bigger, or might want it to be smaller or something like that. But it should work pretty much just the same way. Now you can encode any kind of text in it. Now I don't, I can't be for sure about the Unicode compatibility of everything. Um, but, well actually let's see, let's see if they have, um, let's see if you can encode like uh, uh, emojis or something like that. So let's encode some eggplant, eggplant bleeding water all over the place, eggplant.png. And let's see if this works. Testing real time. So if I run this, oops, close my app. Test it, gotta get it right so everything is in the box. Okay, there we go, yeah, look at that. So there is our emoji, just, just as we wanted it. So it's you're pretty free in what kind of stuff you can encode in these. And again, a lot of people will use them either to, you know, if you see an advertisement or flyer, you might see some kind of website engraved in it or a lot of thing. I actually I think I have my website pulled out here. I um, use these for like cryptocurrency stuff because obviously like a, if you have an address that people can donate for, sometimes it's a little hard to, especially if you use like a, a cryptocurrency thing on your cell phone, you don't wanna to have to write this down and put it in your phone. You'd rather just have a QR code. So that's what these do. Now I should say typically in these QR code apps, 
not only can you click on URLs and stuff, but typically they'll copy it to your clipboard as well, so you can do whatever with it. But in generally, it, that's about it. So, um, so you can play around with this. I find it very useful if you want to have messages, throw them out there as viral marketing or just something to I don't know, own the libs, whatever you kids do nowadays. Um, so, but that's pretty much it. So anyway, hope this will be useful, and I'll see you guys next time.